let us start the first case that we have applied the normal stress on one plane and due to that we want to find out the stresses on an oblique section normal stresses and shear stresses at an angle theta to the given plane right so we have applied normal stress on one plane and we are using the analytical method for that analytical method so analytical method we are uh, using for finding this let us draw a figure that this is the plane on which this is the stress element on which only normal stresses are applied normal stresses are applied there is no shear stress and there is no another stress on another plane right when we are applying sigma x in one plane it means by default sigma x is in opposite plane because the body is in static equilibrium otherwise the body will not be in static equilibrium there will be acceleration in the body so we are considering the static equilibrium in means we have applied the uh, 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 normal stresses on one plane and we are showing the reaction of that this is sigma x right and we want to find out at an angle theta say this is angle theta to this we are taking horizontal for for the uh, in purpose of ease so at angle theta we want to find out the stresses on this oblique section oblique section so suppose this is our uh, sigma n which we want to find out and this is our tangential stress or shear stress we are showing it sigma t tangential stress so how to do how to solve this problem how to find out sigma n and sigma t let us take we are using analytical method and we are uh, going to find out the entity that sigma x will be equal to zero for static equilibrium or net force in any direction will be equal to zero now let us name this element this is suppose a this is b this is c right on a b phase no stress element is there on b c phase the stress element is sigma x on a c phase this is the required quantities which we have to find out the normal stresses and shear stress sigma t and sigma n normal stress right so our aim is to find out sigma n we have to find out and sigma t we have to find out or at an angle theta theta is given to us so let us draw this figure draw this uh, on a star star and show this on a star right so sigma x is in this direction x direction we are taking this element only a b c a b c you remember this we are taking this triangle only this triangle we are considering this triangle this is a this is b and this is c and this force stress is applied sigma x and here the stresses are sigma n and sigma t right sigma x is on bc and this is ac sigma n and sigma t so let us draw let us draw it here how to draw it it will be a free body diagram of this and it will be very easy to find out using this star star so this is theta this is theta this horizontal and incline horizontal and incline this angle is theta if this is theta this will be 90 minus theta this will be again theta this will be 90 minus theta and again theta 90 minus theta and theta so one angle is theta and another angle is which we have not written here is 90 minus theta stresses acting are sigma x in this direction sigma n inclined direction this direction sigma n and sigma t in this direction but these are the stresses and we want to find out the forces because we are applying sigma f will be equal to zero so what is the area at which sigma x is acting this is sigma x multiplied by bc multiplied by the one 
suppose the area and uh, suppose the length of this uh, element inside the board is 1 meter right so thickness is 1 meter we can write sigma t multiplied by ac because it is acting at ac multiplied by 1 sigma x multiplied by bc multiplied by 1 thickness is 1 inside the board sigma n multiplied by sigma n multiplied by ac now choose any direction in which we have to take the sum of the forces to be zero so it is better to choose first the normal direction in which the sigma n is acting so let us say this is our that direction this is the direction right so in this is our normal direction and take all the forces in this direction sum of the forces in this direction equal to zero and this is n direction opposite to this will be minus n direction negative n direction so we can write sigma f in n direction will be equal to zero so what are the forces forces are sigma n into ac sigma n into ac now sigma t sigma t have no component this force sigma t into ac have no component in normal direction because it is perpendicular to this and in because it is perpendicular cos 90 it, it has component cos 90 and cos 90 will be equal to 0 so sigma t ac has no component in normal direction only this component has in normal direction this is 90 minus theta so sigma x bc cos 90 minus theta or sin theta so you can write sigma n ac will be equal to and this will be opposite to it so we can write equal equality sign sigma x bc sin theta sin theta because it is 90 minus theta here here 90 minus theta we can take nine sin theta so here sigma n will be equal to sigma x bc by ac sin theta and what is bc by ac in this direct in this triangle bc by ac it is again sin theta so sigma n will be equal to sigma x sin square theta so this you can remember this you can remember this is a normal stress in in at inclined plane right and it can further be solved it can further be solved like this that what is 2 sin square theta 2 sin square theta that is equal to uh, 1 minus cos 2 theta so we can put here 1 minus cos 2 theta so you will get sigma n will be equal to sigma x by 2 when you apply it sigma x by 2 minus minus sigma x cos 2 theta so this is another equation for this case right so it is to be better to remember this equation or you can remember this equation sigma x by 2 minus sigma x cos 2 theta minus sigma x by 2 here also sigma x by 2 sigma x by 2 cos 2 theta right so any one can be remembered another is to find out the shear stress tangential stress sigma t for that you choose the direction this direction as the tangential direction this is our tangential direction and take sigma f t in tangential direction to be equal to 0 so what we can find out here in tangential direction this is this is acting in tangential direction so we can write sigma t into AC this is in tangential direction sigma and AC has no component in tangential direction so the component of this in tangential direction will be equal to 0 so what is the component of this so this will be you can take the component of this this will be plus sigma x BC cos theta and that should be equal to 0 so sigma T AC can be written as minus sigma x bc cos theta or you can write sigma t to be equal to minus sigma x bc by ac cos theta 
and what is BC by AC? Again, sin theta. So sigma t will be equal to minus sigma x sin theta cos theta. And what is sin theta cos theta? 2 sin theta cos theta. That is 2 sin, sin 2 theta. So we can write sigma t equal to minus sigma x by 2 sin 2 theta. So remember this equation. This is the tangential stress at a oblique plane. At a oblique plane for a stress element only tensile stresses are there in only one plane. 